today I'm going to show you how to make a designer thank you card. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is take a sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock, white, and cut it to 9 inches by 6 and a quarter inches. So that's the 9 inch side, and now I'm going to cut it to 6 and a quarter inches. Then I'm going to take that nine by six and a quarter inch piece of cardstock, and with my score pal, I'm going to use the bone marker at the half mark, so at four and a half inches, and that'll be where I fold my card in half. You can see. And I always use the thick part is, can, is the outside of the card. And so I'll fold it in half this way when the card's complete. But I find it a lot easier to work on the card when it's flat. And then I fold it very last. That's the last thing I do. The next thing I'm going to do is cut this beautiful foil paper that I got from Penny Black. And this is a 12 by 12 sheet. And since my card is six and a quarter, and I want to be able to get as many pieces out of this 12 by 12 as possible, I'm going to cut it in six inch lengths. Six inch by four and a quarter. And you'll notice one edge doesn't have the pattern on it. So I'll probably cut that off first, and then I'll cut my six inch pieces. So that was the part that didn't have a pattern on it. And now I will cut six inches by four and a quarter inches to fit the front of my card. And I can get another one out of that. Then I have two pieces. Next, I'm going to cut a piece of paper that I'm going to run through the cuddle bug. And this is a cuddle bug embossing template that I'm going to use for the front of my card with a thank you stamp printed in the center of the square. And the size I'm going to cut is five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is for my cuddle bug. Five and a half by four and a quarter. And also I use the white cardstock. And then I'll put it inside there to make sure that it fits before I run it through the machine. Yep, looks like it'll be perfect. So now I'm going to emboss that paper in my cuddle bug embossing folder by putting the A plate first, then setting the B plate on top of the A plate, then I'll put the embossing folder with the paper in between, and then I'll put the B plate on top of that and make a sandwich and run it to the cuddle bug. And then run it through. And it should make a perfect impression. And then I can stamp my phrase in the center. The next thing I want to do is cut the corners on this embossed piece of paper. And I have an inverted corner and I'll punch each of the four corners. Okay. 
The next thing I'm going to do is tape the foil paper to my card. And I'm using double-sided sticky tape. I believe this one is permanent bond. And then I'll use the embossed line to line up my full paper. And I'll kind of eyeball the left and right to make sure that I leave an equal amount of space before I put the paper down. So that looks pretty straight. Before I stick this piece down, the embossed piece, I want to make sure that it's going to fit perfectly on the center. And I want to make sure that my print is displayed on all four sides because if there's too much paper on the top or bottom or left or right, you're going to want to trim it because the card just looks so much better if you can see the paper underneath. So I held it up to it. It looks like it's going to fit perfectly, so I'm going to go ahead and attach it with the same method using the double-sided sticky tape. This is permanent, which means I will not be able to get it apart, which is fine. And then make sure you have the right side up. And then I'm kind of eyeballing it to make sure that I have the same amount of pattern showing on the left, right, and top and bottom. And it looks just right. And then I rub it a little to make sure that the tape adheres to the paper below it. The next thing I'm going to do is stamp my image in the center of that square, that rectangle. And I have a thank you stamp. And then I have black dye ink. Make sure it's well inked. And then I just kind of eyeball it to make sure there's an the equal amount of space on the left and right and the top and bottom before I make my impression. And then it looks perfect. And now on the back, I always put a signature on the back of my cards, whether it says made by Tammy or designed by me or handmade with love. Um, recently, I went to California to see the Ray's Point Lighthouse, and so I thought it would be cute to use a lighthouse for the back of this thank you card. So ink it well, and then I put my signature on the back. And everyone knows it's me when I put something on the back. And that should be dry fairly quickly. You can see the thank you. And then the little lighthouse. The next thing I'm going to do is place some gold sticker beads at special places on the design where it looks like I can put something circular. These are just half circle sticker beads that you can get anywhere. You can get them at Michael's or Joann's or you can buy them on the internet. And I put down your self-adhesive mat so that you don't cut your table and you just cut or you pick up one bead at a time with the tip of your X-Acto knife and be very careful. And there's little round embossed images on this design. So I'm going to place these beads wherever I see that round design. And I'm using the medium sized beads on this one. There's one in the center.
Then the last thing I'm going to do is tie a ribbon on it. And this piece of cording, gold cording, is about two feet long. I like to have extra room to work with because tying bows takes some practice. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. I think working with ribbon is a lot easier than working with this cording. But the cording is so elegant. So I, what I do is I'll do two loops with this and it makes it a lot easier to work with. There we go. And then just pull each end until you get it the loops about the size that you want. And then you can take the bow and pull it over to the side. And then I trim it. And there you have it. The last thing I'll do is fold this card in half and use my bone folder. And there you have it. Designer thank you card. Probably only took about 10 minutes total to make and it's absolutely beautiful. Thanks for watching.